Hello. Guess who already filmed this yesterday? But her memory card corrupted half her footage and hence she has to do it again today. It's me. I was actually pretty upset about yesterday's footage being half gone. But today is a much sunnier day. The clouds are very foreboding. And it's a better day because I'm collecting bubble tea at 7 o'clock. So bubble tea aside, for the first time in three years, I feel like I need, like, I need to get a new eyeshadow palette. Because all I have, besides the brown one that I use for the SQ makeup, is this very sad excuse of a palette. Right, so on that note, uh, today's look is going to be like a natural, glowy, rosy, everyday makeup kind of look that will maximize golden hour. Let's just jump into it. I'm so like handsy today. I don't. Yeah, I'm just gonna clip up all this stray feelers because it's getting my face. Let's just use some fancy little pins which I also got on Shopee for 80 cents. I look like I have horns. I washed my face uh, a while back so I'm just gonna start off with toner. Yep. So this is um, a collagen toner so it's a bit viscous. You can see it, it's like, it doesn't pour out like regular water. It's a bit thicker than that. By the way, this look isn't going to take like an hour of your time. So if like you want to put your makeup on for that long walk to your fridge or like me to collect bubble tea in like 6 hours from now, this is probably an efficient look to go with. Next, serum. And if you can't already tell, I have all these little red spots or like patches which I suspect is because I haven't been eating very well here, here this one's the most obvious so what I like to do before I even go into my makeup is to put this layer of medication thingy with this small little dollop and because of skin colour I'm just going to tap it into all the areas that seem to have a bit of redness or pimple-like blobs. So it's almost like concealer. And now for sunblock. Doesn't matter if you're indoors or outdoors. Just get a little bit on there. And that I consider to be my base done. Now I can move on to Primer. I lost my slipper. So I'm still using this tiny ass tube. I really need to get a new one. I even like had to break it up into half so that I could dig out the remainder. But let's just use... I'm so cheap boy. Done with primer. In with a second primer. So this is the pore wrap gel just to cover maybe my nose and a bit on my cheek and chin. Okay, illuminator. So this is gonna be under the foundation because you want it to give like a glowy look that comes from with it. Honestly, I don't even know what I'm talking about but... Okay, so I start with my cheeks because that's where I want to look glowy the most. And then just spread it out to the rest of your face. Now I'm gonna go in with a bit of concealer before I start foundation just because the red spots are annoying me. Freestyle. So the thing about this look is that I don't want it to be overly matte. So when I blend this down, I'm not going to blend it such that it's completely part of my skin colour. I'm gonna leave it a little less sheer than it's supposed to be. Like that. Okay, and I think that's about it. You can already see that it's a lot whiter than my original skin tone and my foundation is going to help even that out. I'm using Clinique as usual. And this is 
100% fragrance-free, moderate to full coverage, natural matte finish. Right. Okay, then we'll just blend it out and see wherever else we need it. We'll just top it up. Then remember how I said that it's going to be a rosy, natural, glowy look. So we're not going to go in with powder just yet. We're going to go in with... I think the prettiest blush that I've owned so far is Glossier's Cloud Paint in Storm. So this is super pigmented and the reason why I like this is because I already naturally like to put a lot of blush but all it takes is like a tiny squeeze of this and your cheeks become super rosy. So let's just go in with a little bit. I'm, I'm gonna show you how little I'm putting, okay? So just let's focus it up. That's already too much, okay. So that, that's it. I'm just gonna split it into two and dot it right in the middle of my cheek. Like that. And then use a different finger and blend it up. And then, can you already tell how much redder it is? Right, and I still have so much excess. So just blend it out. And then with the remaining, I go on the higher points of my cheek. And then just and then blend it up. Nose bridge. Blend it down. And then with the remaining, which isn't much, I'm just gonna put it on my cheek a little. A cheek on my chin. And then on my forehead. Now that I have the blush on, I feel like it's a lot. But by the time I'm done with my eyebrows and my eyes, it's not gonna look like it's as much as I think right now and then I will want to top it up at the end. So I'm not going to set my face just yet. So I'm just going to brush my brows up. You know, in this period when we have no like eyebrow person to do our eyebrows, and I know you can do it by yourself, but I don't know how to work the scissors. So what I've been doing is just to pluck the stray hair with um, a pair of tweezers. I'm just gonna go in and like get all the stray hairs out. Okay, so this is actually enough for me. I'm just gonna brush it up and use an eyebrow mascara to keep it in place. And with my brows done, I can move on to doing my eyes. I'm going to use a very pinky eye, pink look. So I'm going to go with this color, sort of a purplish pink. And then I'm going to maybe go down the middle with a bit of a shimmer. Yeah. Let's look at my eye. Then I'm gonna go in with that shimmer in the middle just a little bit. I am all for subtleties with this look. We're gonna do my eyelashes which I'm super excited about because I finally get to show you guys the magic that is this Shuyumura eyelash curler. Okay, as you can tell, it's not very obvious now, my lashes, but Look at that. Compared to this. It makes so much difference. And now it's going to make an even bigger difference when I use um, my roller lash. This wand kind of hooks onto your lashes and curls it up. At first I thought it was a gimmick, but you'll see. So just going in slowly. So this versus, okay now I'm going to even out on the other side. So I'm done with my eyelashes. I did a bit on my lower lid, like lower lashes. Now we can go ahead and look back on the blush. So to me, this is still not enough. So I will go in with my Innisfree number 9. Just a little bit using a blush brush. And kind of like 
overlap. Much better. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with powder. But not like I'm baking it. I'm just going to maybe tap out the littlest bit. Just have it mixed up and put my nose just everywhere. Free hand, free style, you know? And um, now that your powder is on, we can do what I feel like might be the highlight of this look, which is the highlighter. Right, so I have three different highlighters and they are all from Colourpop. One's a bit more goldish, which is um, Candyman. The other is Butterfly Beach, which is a little more pinkish. And then Wisp, which is like kind of bronzy, silverish. So I have decided to use Butterfly Beach just because everything's already so pinky. So let's continue this pink streak using a little brush, going in with it, being generous as heck because I want to be shiny. This might be a little bit too much. And on this side. Wow. Okay, too much for sure. I'm gonna dab it out. And then uh, on my nose, just a little dot on my nose. Okay, that's more than a dot, but <gasps> I love it. And then down my nose bridge, just a little bit. That's enough. Wow, look at that. <laughs> I'm a spotlight. Oh, I really like it. Okay, and then for places that I feel like might be a bit harder to reach and I can't use a brush, I'm gonna go in with my finger like on the eyebrow. And then on my cupid's bow. Yay! I am really quite liking it today. Like this looks better than when I do it on normal days already. And now we're gonna top it up and finish it off with me lipstick. Where did I? Oh here, okay. I'm using the Revlon Matte series, I think. is It's called Rise Up Rose and it's this dusty pink color. I really, really like it, but I don't like that it is matte because it ruins how dewy this look is. So I'm just gonna put it on first and then I'm gonna blot it and I'll show you how to make it less matte. And the color's still there. And then I'm gonna use lip balm and I'm using Innisfree. Do you see how gross this is now? Yeah, because I keep doing this. I keep topping it up with lip balm. And here you go. And it just gets that much juicier and glossier. And this is the finished look. I'm going to let my hair down and we'll just have a look at the final outcome. And that's the end of today's video. I hope that you will be able to pick out what's helpful for you and to use it in your own looks to pass the days. The next step is just to wait for a golden hour and to maximize that photo opportunity. Side note, um, I know 50 subscribers isn't something to be like celebrating but um, I just wanted to say that I realized during this period of like a month of me putting myself out there that I have such a supportive community of friends and family and it feels like such a blessing whenever I get an Instagram message or a text or just somehow people end up letting me know that they've watched a video and they feel like I should keep doing this it feels nice to be supported especially in a time where to feel truly comforted is almost like a luxury so just, just to round it up before I continue rambling, uh, it's just a big thank you for anything. If you've done anything, <laughs> if you've even like just watched this, if you clicked on the link, thank you. Yeah, I, I hope that makes sense. I always feel like I'm rambling. Anyway, I'm going to insert photos at the end of this video where um, it's actually golden hour because right now it's a bit too early. Again, thanks for watching the video. Uh, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, you can click on subscribe to see more of me every week. And I will see you guys next week.
बाय